are you sick of subscriptions? I know I am, and Adobe is one of the main offenders. Everyone's always on the hunt for a Lightroom alternative in the photography community, and today DxO publicly announced their Photo Lab 9 software that I think is a really strong contender. And so today we're gonna answer the question, does DxO's Photo Lab 9 beat Adobe Lightroom for wedding photographers and other working photographers? So a really exciting part is that DxO's Photo Lab 9 software is a one-time purchase. So you have a perpetual license when you buy it for $239 US. You're able to get really awesome image processing software that won't break the bank and won't be a monthly charge. Without further ado, let's jump into the software. Okay, so we are now in Photo Lab 9. You can see I have here a photo from a recent wedding that I shot in downtown Boston with Annika and Sakong, who are an awesome couple that I worked with. And so typically my process is to edit photos like this with a preset in Lightroom and then, you know, make adjustments as I see fit. But we're gonna try to use Photo Lab 9 to see if we can replicate the look and feel that goes with my wedding photography portfolio. So let's just take a little stab here at maybe adjusting some color, just the temperature, a little bit of a tint. I like where that's going. One thing that I know that DxO is very well known for in their Photo Lab 8 software, which is this Photo Lab 9, is their noise reduction. Now I know that's a big part of this new release. Let's just zoom in here. So really the, the point of focus here is Annika. Yeah, so I really am seeing it when I'm upping the intensity of the lens sharpness. If you look at that, if you look specifically at Annika's face here, which again is the focal point of the image and the focus point of the image, as I pull up that intensity slider, you can see her face come stronger into focus. I think that's very interesting. So let's see if we were to create a new AI mask which is AI mask, new mask. You can select from any of these things. Let's do background and let's see what that can do for us. Okay, I mean, that's perfect to cut them out. So let's make another mask here of the subject and see if it's able to identify that that's them. Okay, yeah, so I grabbed them both, which is great. It didn't just lean into him, which I thought it might do because he was front and center. So as you can see, it's pretty intuitive to start editing photos in Photo Lab 9. There are a few other features that I think are really interesting and useful for especially wedding photographers, but any working photographer, one of them being batch renaming. So you're actually able to select a bunch of different images that you've imported and create a naming convention and apply it to all of the images. So you can see we're doing that here with some images of Kate and Doug where we want all of the images to have the same file name. One other thing that I think is really cool about this software is that you're actually able to copy and paste the AI corrections in the same way you're able to like copy and paste any of your hue and saturation and you know cropping and all those settings in Lightroom. I think that would be super helpful for a portrait. And honestly, in a wedding environment, if you're trying to, you know, change the background or you know overcompensate for something and be able to copy and paste that across a batch, that would be super helpful. So do I think Photo Lab 9 can replace Lightroom for someone? Absolutely. I think the possibilities are pretty endless here. If you care a lot about the cataloging system in Lightroom, I think that's one area that this sort of falls down. And obviously, if you're really attached to your Lightroom presets, that would be another area where this would fall down. You would need to, you know, replicate those here. Can that be done though? Absolutely. As more and more software like Photo Lab 9 comes out, I think, you know, Adobe's gonna have a bit of a challenge on its hands, given that people really don't like that subscription model. And that one-time purchase is really a big plus for a lot of people. DxO has offered a lot of pro features for raw processing in the software. So I'm definitely impressed. I think that if you're looking for an alternative to Adobe Lightroom for wedding photography, for portrait photography, or even street photography, you should definitely take a look at DxO's Photo Lab 9. It is available today, September 2nd, 2025. So definitely check it out using the link below that will help support the channel. And if you do decide to purchase the software, I will also have a coupon code below that will save you a little bit of money on your one-time purchase of Photo Lab 9. Let me know in the comments what photo editing software you are using. And let me know if you check it out and what you think. All right, with that, I will talk to y'all soon. Thanks again for watching.